Lynn Roberts' team, those high goals, made it to the Sweet 16 a season ago. They want to go even further. They want to go further in this one, and they want to go further in the postseason. We'll see what they can do. The tip's up. Arizona State with the ball. Arizona State, three seniors, but five transfers, and wow, a hard fall. Moving to her left. Just trips on Vieta and all her weight to that left knee. Yeah, really didn't get to stop herself, but she stays on, still kind of rubbing the left knee. And we talked to Natasha Adair, the second-year head coach for the Sun Devils yesterday, and she just talked about the growth of this team and really building some good things. That's a good thing right there. Isadora Souza with the first points. Great confidence coming out of the gate. She's their best behind the arc, 48% shooter. Grad students, Jenna Johnson way off. Peely and Oboard, another chance. Quick passing, the extra pass. Wilkie is automatic. We talk about players over the course of this tournament who on the second half of the season have just been coming on. Wilkie is one of them. What an impressive turnaround as she just grew from the transfer from Wisconsin to just being a really important piece of the puzzle here with Utah. Just a sophomore with her 10th start on the season. She became a starter as there's the banker good for Jalen Brown. Boy, she can just find so many different angles and just adjust her body. Yeah, their length, her agility. She's a tough matchup. Now Wilkie inside, lofts it up, no good. Think about Lynn Roberts as you know what she's thinking and feeling a lot. Well, not thinking, but you know how she's yeah. feeling about things. Yeah. I should let you know. In her ninth season, got her team to the Sweet 16 a season ago. Lost in the quarterfinals last year to Washington State, the eventual tournament champs. Nice movement. Great pass. A great look inside the finish by Chris. What a start by ASU. Yeah, just going to knock off the six seed. It's got to be this kind of a game for you. Now another takeaway. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Vieta. That's going to be her second there. Here is Jaden Simmons. So important when you're the 11 seed, you come in and there's just not a lot of expectations except for the, your team. Why not us? Just come out and just roll the dice. they got to believe that they can get themselves out of it. They rely heavily on the outside shot. Just trying to get a little closer. Vieta using her quickness, drives it up good. Much needed bucket for the Utes, her first point. For Utah, it's threes or layups. They don't look for those pull-ups very often. Yeah, very rarely do they look for the mid-range. Curled by Crisp, swish. Boy, that was beautifully done, wasn't it? Sam Crisp stays out there for the Utes. The Queen. Great help. Rotation. We're seeing some good defense tonight. Yep, we sure are. We saw in our previous game between Washington and Arizona. Help D as Wilkie lays it up good. Like her confidence that she's built through the season. She's got five. Ten different players have started for the Sun Devils this season. Tried a variety of different rotations. Injuries. And injuries, yeah. Oh, but feeling it is Trayana Crisp, the sophomore. She's got seven. Largest lead of the game for Arizona State. Zippy drawing two defenders. Gata thought about it. Comes up. Some body contact. Coach had so many good things to say about her, how hard she's worked in the, in the offseason. Yeah, so many good things. And the hard work she's put in. Addison Novacell's checked in for the Sun Devils as well. 25 in maroon. Thompson in the high post. Sets the screen for Brown, and she gets it back. No hesitation. Just misses. Reese Ross in, the freshman for the Utes right there. And there's Lonnie White. And Roberts... Happy with her play as of late. So she probably gets some extended time. McQueen, an aggressive drive, and she gets fouled. McQueen to the line. Yeah, you're right. It's been a, a balanced attack offensively. The the assists are there. How about four assists for five made field goals for the Sun Devils? 
And for Utah, trying to get more players involved. McQueen gets into the action. Exceptional start for Arizona State. Brown using the screen. Ross with a big board. Luke's kicking it up. Queen was spotted on the left corner, but the defense getting back. Yeah, Brown, a great job of just reading the scout and don't give away open threes in transition. Queen, high archer off the back of the iron, long rebound, and White's got to get back. Brown on White, they're going to call a blocking foul. Brown will go to the stripe. Just can't say enough about Jalen Brown's development. Played seven games at Louisville last year, made three baskets. She was a four-star recruit out of Baltimore, Maryland, but, yeah, just didn't get the play, didn't get the time, and, boy, has she taken advantage of an opportunity to come play for Coach Adair. Double figure scoring in every Pac-12 game. Yeah. Looks like it's earlier. How do your numbers go up when you get into Pac-12 play? That's exactly really right. something. Travel. It's the seventh turnover for Utah in this first quarter. In that situation, that's just great defense. You think you're going somewhere and you're not, and then you're, the indecision creates the turnover. On the screen, trying to get Crisp another good look. White trying to stay with her. Sosa's back in, dumps it down. And Thompson with the bucket. Unselfish play continuing. Really well done and controlled movement. First points of the game for Journey Thompson. Peely spots okay. up. Yeah, that's Peely. McQueen to Peely. Get low. Post up. Uses her body so well. She said it's something that she's really worked on. She uses her body to create angles. And wow, does she do it effectively? Shot clock down to five. Souza drives it up. No good. And a reach in, though, on Thompson. Ross getting some early minutes. McQueen, dish inside. That's just unstoppable. The early position, she gets so low, you bring the ball low into her. How are you going to stop that in the power up and through? Over 2,000 career points, over 1,200 points just at Utah as Vieta gets another one. She's got six points. And the first quarter's in the books. Utah. And, wow, a seven-point lead at one time. Utah has yet to lead. They've turned it over quite a bit. They haven't given up a ton of points off of it, and it's allowed them to kind of stay in it, Mayor. For sure. But nobody wants to win a game more than the cheerleaders in the band because <laughs> nobody wants to go home. Right? They're happy to be here. And a takeaway to start trying to go in with Peely and instead turnover number eight for the Utes. Brown with a hesitation in the high post. Exit. Five points for Brown. Wilkie was trying to stick with her. Boy, Jalen Brown has found a home in Tempe. Yep. It's a system and a team that needed a Jalen Brown, and it just has worked out perfectly. I think about adding a Ty Skinner, the oh. high scoring Ty Skinner. Yep. They lost her before the season began as Peely now had to work hard. An unfortunate landing as Souza took the contact from Peely falling backwards. Oh, this is tough to take. Another back in. As well as Khadija Torre, number one, who's checked in. Sophomore from Silver Spring, Maryland. Transfer from James Madison. Five transfers coming in this year for Arizona State. They did a great job at the portal. Yep. Uh, Wilkie's got the touch, doesn't she? She sure does. Peely gets the assist. Eight points for Wilkie. And before this, when Alyssa Peely said of Wilkie, she said she doesn't need a lot of space to get the shot. Wilkie, just a sophomore you mentioned earlier, transferred in from Wisconsin. Lonnie White trying to stay on Brown. Jenna Johnson helped D coming over, but the baseline jumper's good. Hey, does anyone make more moves before she puts the ball on the floor than Jalen Brown? She's got like five different body parts moving. How do you know what to follow when you're the defender? Oh, she's got seven points. She is tricky. Kick out to Jenna Johnson. That's a big bucket for her. This is Utah basketball, isn't it? Make Drive, that pass. dish, kick yep. out, move, adjust. First points of the game for Jenna Johnson. 
the junior from Minnesota. All Pac-12 honorable mention named this year. Second time she's gotten that honor. And now offensive foul in the high post. Big defensive possession for ASU. You, you, you need to stop. You can't let Utah just start grinding and, and going on runs. Skip across. Vieta, she's capable. That one rattles around and out. White tries to keep it alive and does. Vieta with the finish. And slow to get up is Triana Crisp at the other end. Extra effort paying off for the Utes. Oh, the back cut. Simmons trying to get and look, but Peely was there and she couldn't quite get the backboard. Vieta. Well, she's she's one speed. Yep. <laughs> it's fast. Wilkie on the drive. It's been there. You said it. It's threes or twos. Layups, that is. But you have to be so respectful that you really start yep. leaning out on it, and then she just goes to the bucket. Ten points for Wilkie. She leads all scorers. And she averages eight. So a spectacular start. Absolutely. And now a jump ball. Nope. Take away. And Vieta out sprinting. Wilkie finds her layup. Good. Wow. Coast to coast for the Utes. Vieta 0 to 60 and 1.2. I mean, that was unbelievable. Turned it over eight times. Seven of those in the first quarter. Miller banks the three ball. That counts. The banker, you'll take it wherever you get it. Wilkie, a drive to the right, won't go. Miller gets another board. Simmons pushing tempo, banks it up. Good, great Beautiful job using the body. I think once you get over the, the fact that you're injured and you yeah. can't play and you're not fighting that and you have the surgery and you really dedicate yourself to the to the rehab, you have to think about the game as a whole and how you want to improve your mind as a basketball player while you're watching. Yeah, takes some time, but once you do, I think players end up better for it as Vieta weaves her way around up and good. 12 points for Vieta. Great first half for her. Where would Utah be this season without Vieta? She's incredible. An all Pac-12 honorable mention member named. All defensive team honorable mention as well. And the point guard out of Portugal bringing that international flair and speed. Wow, Brown just muscles it up. How about the old school ball fake? And right now hanging on to this three-point lead. That extra pass, White, left side, gets it. And a smile on the Queen's face, she'll get the assist. First points for White. It's the perfect example of Utah offense. Make the extra pass. Simmons drives it up, banks it up. Good. It sure is. She's got six points, and that'll finish the first half. It pulls Arizona State back within four. I love the breakdown by Coach Adair and just kind of simplifying it to an extent, right? Just settle down, play your game. Defensively, wanting the rotations to be a bit better. Let that defense dictate the rest. Crisp got it going in the first half, and she's doing it here, too. This is that one up. Nine points for Crisp. Great start. Get the first possession. Take advantage. They cut it to a two-point lead. It's almost off the mark. Vieta catches up to it. Push it out to Johnson. Oh, help D. There's some help. Brown with the hand in there. Gets it to Simmons. Crisp spots up. Just off. I like the confidence that Chris has from Simmons. Johnson posting up. Miller gets her hands on it with the block. Sousa. Sousa, excuse me. Off the mark. Utah needs to get McQueen going. They need to get Peely going. Vieta on the attack. She gets foul. You got, you got that right. Foul on Sosa, her first. The most approved player in the Pac-12 conference this year was Kiki Iriopin. But when you think over the, the entire landscape of this conference, Vieta has improved so much and has meant so much to this Utah program. Brown. Great pass. 
with Jalen Brown. A little flashy no look there to Souza. Two on the shot clock. Stays with the Sun Devils. Curl, high archer, just off. Peely's had a quiet game so far, four points. When you're in the air, you gotta get, I gotta get creative. <laughs> White with the imitation on the sideline. <laughs> Deja Young, here's the drive. I'm in the air. What do I got? You might as well just throw it up as you're fouled. You can see the reaction from the bench. <laughs> the junior gets the three point play. Five points from McQueen. Out of Hennifer, Utah, we expect most of the town to be here. <laughs> yep. They've made their way to Las Vegas in a variety of different ways. Wow, too quick for herself was Chris. They call the travel. Peely, high post, help D coming over. Oh, great recognition. How about Simmons getting over and then Wilkie? Nice job playing center field. <laughs> That's right. She gets back and then hands it right over. Peely was down there on the block, and instead Miller, oh, misses with the trail by Brown. Brown bails her out with the cleanup. Chris has three. Help D. Great hands. Thompson again. Just limping a bit coming up for the Sun Devils. Beautiful pass. Oh, yeah. Across the lane, and Thompson, she gets the play started, and she finishes, but McQueen out running. Layup good. Layup drill. Yeah, and Crisp is not feeling well. She is holding the right leg. Then they lose Gianna Neepkins. They didn't have Deja Young for a little bit, got her back. It's just been players in and out and, and changing starters. Uh, it's been a learning process, that's for certain, but... They've been able to put it together to get here. As a player, I never like to look over and have the coach pointing to their head because it kind of meant, oh, yeah. yeah. That means they're probably not doing something quite right. Yep. Shot clock down to three. Sozo on the spin. Unselfish gives it up, and they get it at the last second. Coach Shade Air's team just, just believed, and they... Coming out, the Utes, Peely, using her body, gets the M1. And that's what we're used to seeing from Alyssa Peely. <laughs> Peely family and fans in the stands making their presence known. Beautiful pass inside, and then just the power up and power through. And Reese Ross getting some minutes tonight with the injury to Deja Young. That was a great look. Yep. Solid minutes. Three-point play to Peely Works. That foul on Thompson, her third. Brown, the crossover. A little short. Ross not quite getting the box out, but it's tipped out of play. Absolutely. Just one freshman out of Rapid City, South Dakota. Top recruit out of the state. Foul on Novacell, her second. And it puts McQueen to the stripe. That's bonus time. Just under three minutes left. That's a good time for the Utes if they can get to the line. McQueen gets them both. She's got nine. Maybe Utah starting to take their hammer out. And they haven't been able to yet, but this could be an opportunity. So it was a crosses it over. It's up. Gets it to drive. She invited her to go that direction, and she said, I will take it. Found the opening. She's got five points. Oh, no. Up by five. Oh, no. Ross drives it all the way from high to low, and good. Her first points of the game. Yeah, she looks great. Simmons crosses it over, almost gets it to go. Peely rips that one away, holds her ground, and Thompson's going to get whistled with a personal. So she will take a seat. Miller's back in, and Peely goes to the strike. Richard Air chatting with 
Thompson. Absolutely. Uh, there's the fan. <laughs> there's the fan. It's the fan in the stands. I was doing the Utah game at Oregon State. They were sort of on that West Coast tour. The winner of this one will move on to face three seed UCLA tomorrow. Brown not giving up. Like the way she plays. She's got 13. She really gives the effort at both ends. Ada trying to lose. Simmons. White gives it to Peely using her body. Boy, Lonnie White is a facilitator in this game. Really impressive. Peely with 11. White finding her. Out to Miller. High gets it. Six points. You can see why they're excited about her. Absolutely. Henry Miller. Again, White, this time the defense reading it, trying to go to Peely. Not a bad idea, but the defense rotated over. Great look. Oh, great, that one won't go. The defense got back, but it was a pretty good look. Oh, count it. Oh, that's a crowd favorite kind of shot right there. What a dagger for ASU. Just a dagger. If you're ASU, you go from being down six to being down nine. That is a big difference. It certainly is. One more quarter to go. Winner moving on to the quarterfinals tomorrow night. Johnson, nice aggressive move. Not shying away from the contact. She's got five points. Yeah, that was a determined move, wasn't it? The drive by Jenna Johnson. Brown's been really solid, crisp as well. So glad she was able to come back out after holding the leg in the last quarter. Had to lead for just a little bit. Shot clock down to five. Souza, she's been aggressive. Wow. Johnson momentarily gets That's the bucket. Great. That's a great move. She's got seven points. She has such a great feel for the game. Grad student from Brazil. Queen and how about the seal off by Peely? So much of Peely's game is the passing angles from and just great instincts from the perimeter players. And whether it's Lonnie White in this game or Kennedy McQueen, get her the ball where she can do a work. Crisp. Oh, wow. Almost lost it, made something out of it, but couldn't quite get it to go. Vieta. Okay. So fast. She is so special. Oh my god. What a season. 18 points. Rebound, outlet, and we are off to the races. Bobbing and weaving and finding a way to the bucket. Just looking at something left and then decided just to go right and it opened up for her. Second foul on Wilkie. Chris, pretty shot. She is great off that curl. And she likes a good screen and she knows how to use it. She's got 11. Brown all over Wilkie. Some devils have really slowed her down, but now others getting involved. I'm rattling that one in. You watch this ASU team, and it, it's kind of hard to believe they only won three conference games. Yeah, that's just how tough this conference is. Yep, certainly so. Wilkie kicks it out to her. Way too much time for Alyssa Peely, a 40% three-point shooter, and the bench reaction. Yeah, we like that. Gianna <laughs> Eakins on your left. Okay. <laughs> the youth dance. Oh, you got to have some fun. That's that's something that we've heard the coaches talk about is to enjoy this. These teams are having a good time with it. Chris gets that one. Let's be a little more ready with that elbow. Yep. Yep. They were hoping they'd be able to, and, and they've been able to do just that. Money White's gotten more minutes. Third personal on Vieta. She picked up two personal fouls in the first quarter and very early in the first quarter, Mary. The, the, around the six-minute mark or so, she picked up the second. 
and then stayed in, played the rest of the way, scored all of her points. Has not come out of the ball game. I mean, that's confidence in the second quarter at the yeah. six-minute mark or a little plus or minus from there. Yeah, for sure. Stay on the floor. We need you. The court pressure from the Sun Devils. Trying to tip it away. And they're going to call the 10 seconds on Utah. And the 16th turnover for Lynn Roberts' team. A little higher than normal. They average 14 a game. Season high, 20. At Colorado and at UCLA. They've given up a ton of points off of them, but there's a three-point opportunity. Number 20 guard in the nation. I mean, so improved a year ago. Shot 30%. This year, 40%. Yeah. From three, she was at 28 last. Excuse me, 24 last year. This year, she's at 34. For Arizona State. You're thinking, okay. But a momentum shifter for the Utes. They work it into Peely, muscles it up good. Great patience in Vieta as she's waiting for that to unfold because it was getting close to a five second call. Oh, <laughs> it's a pretty shot, too. 17 for Chris. Well, she could create for herself. I like the game of the sophomore. And blocking foul call. McQueen Crisp has had quite the game. And a lot to look forward to next season as well as that one goes. Yeah, you think about this ASU team with Ty Skinner coming back and I mean basically yeah. 20 point score per game. Absolutely. Jalen Brown basically a 20 point score. Yeah, and that's you know, Coach Jade said she goes, what we're building is good. We had a good core group. But we were young in a lot of spots, but they've gained experience. And then you get Ty Skinner back and some others as Brown got tripped up. Brown with 13. She's a 78% free thrower, so very good on the year. And you can't get that one, but follows follows it. It. She, knew it. she knew it. Jenna Johnson picks up her second. First free throw good for Brown. For Utah, this game can't go fast enough. Trying to seal off Souza. Huck D was thinking about coming down. It was a big show, wasn't yeah. it? By Thompson. Shot clock to two. Johnson just gets it off in the nick of time. Beautiful creativity by Jenna Johnson. She's got seven. Two minutes left in this one. That shot just short. It's almost turned it over. As they will bid adieu and move on to the Big 12. A foul on Thompson is her fifth, so that'll do it for her. And you start looking towards tomorrow night in Utah yeah. versus UCLA. What a couple of games they <laughs> played this year. Yeah. On the 22nd of January in overtime, it was Utah over UCLA 94 to 81. And then on ESPN on the 22nd of February, an absolute blowout yeah. as UCLA defeats this Utah team by 30. Yeah, just an incredible play by the Bruins. And what's so interesting about that is the game prior for Utah, they beat Colorado by one. It definitely feels that way with 41 or better in the net. But just a great step forward. Six second differential, shot clock, game clock. Gonna be some fun ones tomorrow in the quarterfinals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Colorado, Oregon State. Yeah. Cal Stanford, Arizona, USC. Absolutely. And Utah, UCLA. A difficult start to this one for the Utes, but they were able to stay close and turn things around. And for Lynn Roberts and her team, they get the win.